So welcome everyone to the Schubert Seminar. Uh, today, uh, we're happy to have Rui Xiong from University of Ottawa telling us about Chern Schwartz conferencing classes over flag varieties, theory rules, conjectures, and more. So please take it away, Rui. And thank you for the uh, for inviting me. And uh, OK, today I'm going to discuss uh, with, uh, my recent paper joined with Neil Fan and uh, Peter Gore. And uh, so uh, let's start from the first part, the geometric background. And uh, OK, uh, OK, <laughs> uh, uh, I hope everyone loves counting. <laughs> uh, OK, on the left hand side, uh, we have enumerate, enumerate rating problems. We have two principles, uh, addition principle and the multiplication principle. It means uh, to get the total number, we, we take a sum. To get uh, the number, we take product, right? So on the left-hand side, it's very basic uh, about counting. And uh, okay, uh, there is some geometric analog of the uh, of these two principles. Is uh, well, I want to claim that all the characteristics uh, share the similar property as the uh, left-hand side. And first is uh, let x be an algebraic variety over C and u be a, an open subset. And then we have the following, uh, the following identity. Oh. Okay. Uh, we have the following identity, the all the characteristic of x equal to the sum of all the characteristic of u and uh, its complement, the all the characteristic of its complement. It follows from the long that sequence of our homology. And secondly, if we have a, uh, a fiber bundle, say X to be the total space and B is the base space, F be the fiber. Then by the uh, spectral sequence, we have the following identity, the characteristic of the entire space equals to the product of all the characteristic of base space and the fiber space. Okay, so uh, they are parallel in some sense. And uh, uh, the, uh, Okay, this is the first uh, uh, geometric background. And the second is uh, consider uh, the following two functors between varieties over C to the linear vector space over Q. And there are two functors. The first one is a, a space of constructible functions. It is defined by, uh, it's a, just a, uh, well, how to say, <laughs> it's a function over X, uh, which is spanned by, uh, well, let, 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 let me take this as a definition. It is spanned by the uh, characteristic function of closed sub-variety. And uh, it is a functor. Uh, it means uh, we assign uh, each uh, algebra variety, not only, uh, okay, we assign an algebra variety, a linear space. We do not, uh, we not only, we do not only assign for each algebra variety, we also define push forward for each proper morphism uh, between two algebra varieties. The push forward is defined, uh, well, you can check that the following definition is well defined. It defined such that the push forward or the characteristic of a closed sub variety, uh, the value at y is a characteristic of its fiber. So it's defined by this. So in some sense, if you uh, think it as an analog of the previous slides, this push forward is defined to be counting, counting along fibers, but using all the characteristics. Okay, this is a con constructible functions, and on the other hand, uh, uh, on the other hand, we have for more homology. Uh, well, roughly speaking, uh, well, uh, here I do not put for more, <laughs> so uh, it, we can think that the uh, algebra cycles. Uh, lies in this formal homology, and for uh, for proper morphisms, we define push forward. Uh, roughly speaking, is integral along fibers. Uh, okay, they are also kind of parallel. Uh, they are both functors at least. Uh, so uh, between these two functors, there is a uh, they they are actually deeply con uh, related. So the the most classical result in this uh, in, in 
well, <laughs> the most classic relation is the following. For smooth projective variety X, uh, we know that the Euler characteristic chi X equals to uh, the push forward of the uh, chain classes of, of the tangent bundle of X. And uh, okay, this is a classic result uh, in one, uh, well, found by Chen. And uh, well, in terms of functor, we, we have the following uh, diagram. So uh, characteristic uh, function of X is pushed forward to uh, chi X over the point. And on the other hand side, on the other hand, uh, the Chen classes of tangent bundle is sent to, uh, well, sent to the right-hand side. So they are equal. It means we have the, this diagram. And uh, okay, I draw this diagram. Uh, it means uh, actually I want to indicate that there would be some connection lifting this identity. So it was conjectured, conjectured, conjectured by Grosny and Ling and proved by McPherson that there is a nature transform. Well, here a uh, nature transform means it's commute, commuting with push forward. Uh, there is a nature transformation from uh, well the the functor of uh, construct constructible functions to Burma homology, and it's characterized it's characterized by the the following property. It map it maps uh, the characteristic function of X to the chain class of its tangent bundle when X is small. So okay, this is a, a geometric background of this, uh, well, uh, for this CSM, it now is known as Chen schwarz macpherson class. So CSM class means this. Okay, uh, let me briefly explain an example. Uh, okay, uh, assume W is constructible in X, uh, let us denote uh, CSM W to be the CSM of the characteristic function of W. Uh, I mean, it's actually inside the form or homology of X. Uh, let's consider the projective line P1. And we know that uh, topologically uh, it is a sphere. And uh, the right-hand side, okay, this big sphere is, uh, <laughs> is a, uh, a picture of P1. Um, we can identify Burma homology and cohomology by Pangehe duality. And we have the decomposition P1 is A1 union with this infinite. Okay, this point is infinite and uh, the complement is just a copy of A1. Uh, okay, and we know that the cohomology is, uh, is this ring is QX quotient by X squared. And X is a class of a point. Uh, okay, and uh, uh, well, by our uh, characterization of CSM class, P1, since P1 is most, this CSM class is just a C1. I'm sorry, it's not C1. Uh, it's C, it's a total chain class. So uh, this is a total chain class or tangent bundle, which is one plus two X. And we can also compute for the point at the infinite. The CSM class is just the class of point, so it's X. And since, uh, okay, uh, we can compute then the CSM class of the complement, this part, A1, it's just the difference. Since here, this is one P, and this is one infinite. And so the difference is one A1. So as a result, the difference of them is just the CSM class of A1. So it's one plus X. This, uh, this is an example. Uh, okay, this is a geometric background of uh, CSM classes. And uh, okay, then let's turn to uh, flag varieties. <laughs> okay, actually P1 is a, a example of flag varieties. So we will concentrate on the classical flag variety. Uh, it, it is a, a variety parametrized the following data. It's a chain of uh, vec uh, chain of vector spaces in CN such that uh, each uh, space has dimension uh, VI has dimension I. 
inside CN. And uh, for each element, it's called a flag. That's the reason it's called flag variety. And uh, well, our classical result is we can decompose flag variety into disjoint union of sugar cells. So uh, it's parameterized by a symmetric group or uh, a symmetric group uh, for one to n. And uh, okay, here I use the opposite sugar cell. And so that uh, uh, each sugar cell is equals it's isomorphic to an affine space of core dimension equal to the length of W, say the number of inversion. And uh, okay, the, now the question is how to compute the CSM class of a super cell. Uh, actually, uh, the CSM class of, uh, of super cells over flag varieties are computed by Alufi and uh, Mihashi. Um, we have it using the Bose Samuelson resolution. And actually, they show that CSM classes can be computed by the Mazur lunatic operators. Um, OK, and uh, this is uh, background. And now, let's turn to our first result. Uh, the following is our first main result. Recall that the chain classes of the dual of case tautological bundle, say, OK, <laughs> say R with K hat. It means the chain classes, the R's chain class of the dual of case tautological bundle. It can be represented by uh, the elementary symmetric uh, polynomial in x1 to xk. So let me denote by er x1 up to xk. And uh, okay, our first theorem is for any permutation u in Sn. And uh, OK. Uh, we have CSM class of super, of super cell corresponding to U. And if we take product with this class, it equals to the following combinatorial uh, result. <laughs> and we have the following combinatorial formula. The CSM expansion of the left-hand side is equal, equal to, well, it's also equal to some CSM class. Much, uh, the sum is firstly multiplicity free and uh, uh, is sum over the so-called de decreasing path gamma of length r start from u to, well, to its end. So here, r is a, uh, is a degree of this class. And uh, OK, decreasing path is uh, we are tracing the path uh, in the following diagram. The diagram uh, is given as follows. So the vertexes is just a symmetric group. And we put an arrow between two permutations with a label tau. If W equals to U times TAB, TAB is a transposition of A and B for some A and B. And A is uh, no greater than K, and B is, is strictly greater than K. And the length of W is uh, greater than the length of u. So the, 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 uh, this actually means the orientation of the arrow. And moreover, the label tau is defined to be ua. So a is the small, uh, well, the smaller uh, number uh, exchanged. And uh, tau is, uh, uh, is ua, u applied to the small, smaller index changed. Uh, OK, and this is our first theorem. Uh, okay, and uh, for this diagram, I have some beautiful picture to show to <laughs> to us. Um, okay, this is a, a graph when n equals to four and k equals to two. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. Here k is a case tautological bundle. Here it means a number of variables. So this example is when n equals to when n equals to four and k equals to two. And uh, for example, if we want to uh, find a decreasing path, decre decreasing path means the label is decreasing. Uh, let me find one decreasing path. Uh, okay, for example, for example, this two, one, three, four goes to four, one, three, two, then this is two, then we find labeling smaller than one. We can go to here, 
go to P. And uh, perhaps it also has some other choices. Uh, also this and uh, this, this, uh, this. So the result will be, I mean, the CSM class of one, two, three, four times uh, E R X one X two equal to the CSM class of these three classes. If I compute it correctly, <laughs> if I did not miss anything, this is the first diagram. We say that the diagram is very symmetric. And the secondly, uh, another example is this. Uh, this is an example when n equals to four and k equals to one. It's also very symmetric. Uh, okay. And uh, uh, I want to uh, mention a phenomenon that uh, actually we can prove that CSM class of a Schubert cell, uh, in, I mean, in, in quantum module flag variety, the lowest term, uh, geometrically, uh, it is a highest, uh, is, high, uh, is a cycle of high, high, highest dimension, equal to the Schubert class. So it basically means if we take the lowest component of both sides, we will get a period rule for super classes, which is uh, found by Sotili. And uh, uh, in, in that case, uh, if we take the lowest term both sides, we will get the path such that each step it increased dimension by one. So because of the dimension, but because of the degree reason. So uh, I want to show you what, show you if I remove. So just, uh, just one uh, yeah. naive question. What is the role of tau again? I, I don't see any uh, mention of tau in the, in the form. Uh, here, itself. tau. This yeah. Tau. Yeah. Uh, here, I mean, decreasing means the label is decreasing. Oh, the taus have to be decreased. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you for your question. Yes. Uh, Okay, and uh, uh, if we take the lowest term, we will get the the Perry formula for super classes, which is classical, and uh, well, not that classical. <laughs> and I want to show you a phenomenon that okay, the diagrams here looks very symmetric, right? Here we have four components, and uh, and uh, they reflect together. We, we have reflection, yeah, symmetric, symmetric. And uh, for this, well, it's more symmetric. It's very beautiful, right? We have this symmetric, symmetric. But uh, if we focus on Schubert class, it means each step we can only go, uh, each step we can increase the, the, the length by only by one. So let us remove the arrows, uh, which has, uh, well, I mean, the degree, the length increase more than one. Then what will we get? We see that they are all uh, symmetric. If we remove remove everything, well, it looks not very symmetric, right? So, hmm. so uh, it basically means okay. Let's say another, another diagram for this. If we remove remove the arrows which uh, increase more than one, then it is not symmetric, uh, not that symmetric. So uh, I want to say that consider considering CSM classes would make the question more symmetric and uh, perhaps sometimes uh, it would become easier. This is what I want to say. So compare this 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 graph. It's uh, <laughs> so take lowest term breaks the symmet uh, the 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 symmetry. Uh, so we consider CSM class by. Uh, it's more symmetric, I want to say this. <laughs> okay, uh, now let's turn to our next theorem. Our next theorem is equivalent theory rules. So actually we proved uh, uh, a rigidity theorem, which states that the equivalent coefficients are controlled by non-equivalent coefficients. So, uh, okay. Uh, as an uh, application, we achieve the following equivalent peer rule. So now what we replace, we replace the left hand side uh, uh, by equivalent CSM classes. And uh, the formula, we want to find the CSM expansion of the left hand side. 
and uh, all the settings are the same, except uh, this is equivalent. The sum is also over decreasing passes, but we do not have any re re have do not have any restriction on the length. Uh, so we just uh, let the pass go uh, decreasing. The, the label is, is decreasing, and the sum. Well, this is a CSM class, and this is endpoint of the pass, and this is coefficient. It's a uh, elementary symmetric polynomial in T of oh, this delta k u and gamma. And this is defined to be, uh, I mean, this set is defined to be ui from i is from one to k, uh, which is uh, such that ui is not equal to double i. So uh, it's, a, it's actually, it's an image of element from one to i, which is, which is not moved to the same point uh, by u and w. So it's a little bit uh, <laughs> uh, hard to describe it in English. So uh, anyway, we, we can, and the, the, the index is r minus less gamma. It means the sum actually over, the, the sum is actually over uh, passes of length uh, no greater than r. And in particular, when length equal to r, we get one. So it recovers our previous result. Uh, okay, this is equivalent Pierre rule. And it's also recover some, uh, uh, if we take the lowest term, we, we also recover some uh, equivalent Pierre rule uh, for super classes. Uh, okay, and the uh, uh, next one is equivalent uh, Banach and Nakayama rules. <laughs> so actually we can also obtain an equivalent MN rule for CSM classes. So in this case, we take P R X K is just uh, uh, the Newton's power sum of K variables, uh, X one of power K uh, add to uh, X K of power, uh, uh, or X one of power R uh, up to X K of power R. And uh, well, geometrically speaking, it appears in the uh, it appears in as a sum of uh, chain character of the topological bundle. So uh, anyway, <laughs> let's state our uh, uh, our theorem about P MN rule. So CSM classes, this is uh, our friend CSM class corresponding to U and times this uh, uh, PRXK, it equals to the following expression. Mm, well, first, the first term is a localization of this term at u, so it's t u k, and uh, oh, well, uh, and the rest term uh, is sum over all the w. W can be written as uh, u times eta for an r prime plus one cycle. Eta, uh, eta is a, a r prime plus one cycle. And moreover, u, we need that uh, there exists a path from u to u eta. Okay, this is a description of u, and actually we prove that uh, in the sum, uh, how to say, the, the, uh, there will be no reputation for this kind of w. So uh, if there exists, then, well, there exists some kind of unique path, uh, but we need to put restriction on the on the past anyway. And the coefficient is, uh, oh, this is homogeneous uh, symmetric polynomial. And the index is u times m u w. And m u w is uh, indexes that is, uh, that is mapped to different uh, index by u and w. So it is, and we, we do not forget to apply u. So this is our formula, and uh, of course it's a little bit messy, but uh, <laughs> it's a it's a result of our uh, our theorem that uh, equivalent coefficients can be controlled by non-equivalent coefficients. So when we prove this, we first prove the non-equivalent version, and then apply our formula to get the uh, equivalent version. Uh, okay, this is our uh, main theorems. And then let's discuss uh, generalization. <laughs> so actually we proved more general rule for 
prochronomias or hook shapes, uh, which including circle class or tautological bundle. So the following picture maybe shows what happened. So uh, as I explained, for, for E, we, we, the sum is taking over the, the decreasing pass. It means the label is uh, decreasing. And, uh, and on, the, uh, on the other hand, <laughs> if we consider the third class of the logical bundle, say the, it's for H, the period rule for H is sum over the increasing pass uh, over the graph I described. And uh, for hook shape, for short polynomials or hook shapes, it's sum over passes which increasing firstly and decrease. And uh, how many steps it increase and how many steps it, de it decreases depends on the shape of the hook. So we can see actually this is a hook shape <laughs> somehow. Uh, okay, uh, this is a generalization and uh, actually uh, our formula we obtained, uh, the formula we obtained is a generalization of the following theorems. Uh, a lot of uh, uh, a lot of formulas. So firstly is the Charlet formulas for CSM classes, which is uh, proved by Alufi, Hashia, Sherman, and Su. And uh, secondly is the uh, Schubert Pierre rule by Sotelli. And uh, third is the uh, equivalent Schubert uh, Pierre rule by Robinson, and also uh, uh, Lee. Uh, Ravi Kuma, Sotili, and Yang. Actually, uh, they, they found a geometric proof of, of the equivalent super Pierre formula. And actually, in our case, uh, up to, I, 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 I cannot figure out, uh, up to now, I cannot figure out a geometric proof of, of it. Anyway, and also the Schubert MN rule, and also our results also generalize uh, Schubert MN rule due to uh, Morrison and Sotili. So this is uh, our main results and its generalizations. So I think it's a good time to take a break. <laughs> Very good.